know your IS code provisions, a short lecture series on tall building code. That is IS 16700-2017. So in this short lecture, I will explain about uh, story stiffness and strength. Story stiffness and strength, that is clause number 5.3. So why in tall buildings, this kind of uh, say stiffness irregularities and strength ir irregularities arrive or will be present in that? It is mainly due to meeting the architectural requirements. So sometimes uh, uh, say like uh, uh, taller height floors have to be introduced in the structure. And also sometimes uh, a structural wall, which is continuing from top to bottom will be suddenly uh, abruptly like removed or uh, uh, removed because of some uh, user requirement. So how code uh, sees it and what are the safeguards against uh, this uh, soft story and weak story? So those clauses we'll discuss today. So let me share my screen. Yeah, so clause number 5.3, that is story stiffness and story strength. Now what code directly uh, says is parameters influence, influencing stiffness and strength of the building should be so proportioned that the following are maintained. So what are those things? Let's look at this first one. That is lateral stiffness of any story shall not be less than 70% of that of the story above. So that means uh, any story under consideration, it's a stiffness should not be less than 70% of the stiffness of one floor above. So let's take, say, a building as an example, a building. Then whose stiffness of the floor is Ki? Stiffness of the floor is Ki. Now, how do we get the stiffness of uh, this floor? Like, uh, so this has been explained in uh, my short lecture on uh, IS 1893. So that is clause number 7.7.5.4. So for details, you can refer to that. But in short, how do we do? So first compute the base share of the structure and then distribute that base share over the height and then apply that base share. So when you apply that base share, we get some deflection profile. Now compute say story drift and divide story share by story drift. So whatever we get that is uh, stiffness of the story. But if you want to do, say, a manual calculation, then so lateral stiffness, say, along x direction or y direction, whatever direction you are considering, lateral stiffness of all the uh, lateral load resisting elements. So if, say, uh, diaphragm is rigid, that means beam is infinitely rigid, then all the columns connecting beam. So how we can calculate 2 LEI by H cube. So depending on the end conditions, this formula uh, changes. But uh, how uh, like software programs does, first calculate it calculates base share and distributes base share over the height. And then that base share is applied laterally and whatever deflection profile we get from that, we calculate, uh, it calculates a drift and uh, that story share force divided by the drift that, that uh, using that, this stiffness, story stiffness is computed. So like that, let us assume that this Ki is computed. So Ki is the stiffness, story stiffness of I at the floor. Then Ki plus one is uh, story stiffness of one uh, floor above. So what code says is I at the floor stiffness cannot be or should not be less than 0.7, 70% uh, of one floor above, that is Ki plus one. Similarly, strength so lateral strength of any story shall not be less than that of story above so this is uh, very important that is the one who is supporting should not be weaker than the one who is getting support okay vertically as well as horizontally so in this case we are discussing horizontally vertically anyway if gravity load if the lower floor is not able to support the upper floor then it will anyway collapse that will be a stability problem but even if say in gravity load it is stable but for lateral load what code uh, suggests is 
what code says is like so compute the strength of uh, say floor ith floor and then uh, i plus one floor the condition is strength of ith floor cannot be less than strength of i plus one floor i plus one that means one one floor above so that's what uh, like code says and uh, i request uh, uh, viewers to see the uh, irregularities uh, short lectures of is 1893 which i have made so they are all short so in that you can see uh, like uh, uh, vertical irregularities that is uh, soft story weak story and mass irregularity so that kind of there are seven vertical irregularities so you will get better understanding of that so the intention of this short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers, particularly budding practicing engineers to understand IS code uh, provisions in a better manner. So following references have been used for preparation of these slides. And also I, I acknowledge the help of my students in preparation of this lecture. Thank you.